On that drive to take the lead, you, you had two huge runs, the fourth and one, and then the 34 yard that seemed to spark some kind of momentum. Can you just take us through both those plays? Yeah, uh, we were on the sideline for a pretty long time at that point, at that moment. Um, no, I knew we had to get it going on the offensive side of the ball, and that's what I did on that drive. I think it was just over 100 yards rushing in that just that fourth quarter. What what did you see or the offense kind of see that started clicking in the ground game? Yeah, definitely. Um, that was something that Coach Kiffin said during halftime, like, hey, we're still in the game. We have to keep going, uh, get the momentum back, and go out there and execute. Even though it wasn't exactly what we were planning for, we still went out there and played. On two different occasions, on fourth down, you were in the Wildcat formation mm -hmm. once you scored a touchdown and once you got a crucial first down. What's going through your mind when you're in the Wildcat formation like that? Uh, definitely the down and distance. Where are the chains? Definitely to get the first down because that's typically something we run in like short distance plays or near the goal line. So that's definitely something that goes into my mind is the down and distance and just really execute. <clears throat> you have a bye week coming up after a big game today going on the road to Auburn, right down the road. I asked you this in the preseason. What do you think about uh, going back to a game and a place that's kind of close to your hometown? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel that this bye week is very important for us uh, with injuries and just really executing in practice and seeing the things that we could, could fix from this past game and the games we just played. So I feel that bye week is just very important for us, but definitely excited to go back home and play in Alabama. Looking forward to it. Quinshawn, last week, LSU goes on a big run. Y'all are down late, and then y'all find a way to you know, push through. Tonight, Arkansas goes you know, on a little bit of a run as well, takes the lead mm -hmm. in the fourth. Y'all find a way to push through. What do you think that kind of says about this team? I think that that shows the type of team that we are. You know, This is the hardest conference to win football games. So for us to go out there and do whatever it takes to win, it might not be pretty, but to end up 1-0, I think that speaks a lot about our team. Last season, this was a battle of two teams with two of the better rushing offenses in the country. This year, you guys came out on the winning side of that. Just tell me what that means for your running back room. Definitely a lot. Like I say, uh, it's a lot of things that could be cleaned up as far as the whole offense, but as a room, as, as a unit. I think our coach, you know, that's his big emphasis is coming out 1-0 and doing whatever it takes to win the football game.